A team of four Tapapa scientists visited the snares for a fortnight in late 2013 to undertake a variety of research projects, including counting some wildlife species, collecting samples of mosses and lichens, and taking blood and feather samples from some of the birds to compare with their nearest relatives. The Department of Conservation manage biosecurity for the islands. Each trip begins with a biosecurity check at their purpose-built facilities in Invercargill, where the team members and Department of Conservation staff carefully check all of our equipment and clothing for seeds or insects that may have stowed away. The gear is then all carefully packaged up and delivered to the waiting vessel at Bluff for the long sea voyage to the islands. The Snares Islands are part of the New Zealand UNESCO World Heritage Subantarctic Area. They are protected as nature reserves. The Snares Islands lie 105 kilometres south southwest of Stewart Island, Rakiura, and consist of three main vegetated islands surrounded by several smaller islets and rock stacks. The islands are a mecca for wildlife, particularly for seabirds. There are large numbers of skuas and penguins and a variety of petrels and albatrosses that breed on the islands. The islands are particularly well known for the snares crested penguin, which as the name suggests is endemic to the snares islands. It's the only place on the planet they occur. Large numbers of these birds walk ashore at a few points around the main island and wander inland to their colonies where the chicks were half grown at the time of our visit. The islands are also important for marine mammals, with two species of seals common on the islands, the New Zealand sea lion and the New Zealand fur seal. But we also had a leopard seal visit for a few days during our stay. In addition to the abundant seabirds on the Snares Islands, there are three land birds that are special to the group. The Snares Island tomtit, the Snares Island fern bird, and the Snares Island snipe. Snipe used to occur throughout New Zealand, but were wiped out by rats following human arrival. The Snares Islands are one of the least modified parts of New Zealand, and there had never been any introduced species of mammals present on the islands. But there are still some signs of early human presence. Sealers visited the islands in the early 1800s and almost wiped out the fur seals. In the late 1800s, the New Zealand government established a system of castaway depots on the islands south of New Zealand. Finger posts were erected to show the locations of the castaway depots, but no shipwreck survivors are ever known to have made it onto the Snares Islands. Nowadays, only Department of Conservation staff and research scientists are granted permits to visit the islands, and so for most of the time the wildlife have the Snares Islands to themselves. <laughs>